Hey guys, this is Gadget Mix. So, I am installing the latest version of Windows 10 and I am going to do a fresh install of Windows 10 on my Sony YOP. This is a first generation YOP that is running uh, Intel Z520 uh, processor. It's a very old and slow processor and I'm running it on my 2GB RAM YOP. Um, I have swapped the, uh, the very slow hard disk with a fast literally faster SS SSD it's not the best quality one but that's all I could find on uh, the Chinese website where I which sell the compatible uh, SSD for this Sony YOP um, I tried to boot uh, from the BIOS I was unable to do so for some reason so I'm trying to um, go ahead with this update of uh, Windows 10 directly from Windows 8.1 no I don't want to make I uh, let me just keep it unchecked um, checking for updates uh, let me turn off the Wi-Fi real quick I don't want it to be downloading anything uh, I've turned on the airplane mode Uh, I am not running into any problem so far on my YOP. I just want to uh, see how it runs. I recently updated my Acer W4820 tablet uh, to this May 2020 update. Um, so I thought, why not give my old Sony YOP a shot? I know many of you are, many of you guys are still using it, and this thing has really gained traction again thanks to the GPD uh, computers out there. So many people are looking for these cheap Sony Vios because um, they are cheaper than the GPDs and if you are not into gaming maybe you can use them as a hobby. I'm not using this computer as my daily driver for doing anything. This is just a hobby device. I bought it as a hobby device. I'm still using it as a, as a hobby device. I would definitely like to say that I love the keyboard. Uh, you know sometimes when I'm in meeting or so I often take this laptop with me it has that wow factor so um, let's pause for a bit and see what is happening here so basically I had to restart the entire setup uh, I should not have uh, um, stopped the update process I had to restart the everything. You just have to restart from the square one. Okay, so choose what to keep. I am going to do a fresh install. Checking for updates. This is really stubborn. You are not going to fetch any updates, man. Because the internet is off. You're on flight mode here. This Windows 10 is dumb. Making sure you're ready to install. Mm, that's kind of a stupid question. Come on, this thing is slow, man. Slow as molasses. You gotta have a lot of patience when you're buying a Sony YOP, especially the first generation one. It is slower than any netbook that I have owned in my life. And I have owned a lot of netbooks. I have owned um, 1201 EPC, 1201 TEPC, I have owned um, 1201N, the one which came with NVIDIA Ion. I own that. And I also own, I also had a couple of Sony. EEPC 701 with freaking 4 GB storage and 512 MB RAM. Yeah. Now you have guys with 512 GB RAM. How things have changed. Unfortunately, both of those EPCs do not work anymore. I tried to repair them. The repairs were not successful. Maybe I'll wait for this to proceed a little bit because there's nothing coming up it's still 
on the please wait uh, screen so I'll be back in a GFA okay so I ran into some story issues because as I told you earlier I am on a 16 GB SSD on it and do not plan to upgrade it so I just wanted to see how the latest, win latest version of Windows run on it so I uh, did, I did a few files um, including the Microsoft Office and now we have the amount of space that we need for the Windows 10 so now um, I configured it to set up uh, as a new device and do not restore anything and most probably it will be done in half an hour or so considering how slow this thing is I'll keep you posted okay guys so um, I was able to successfully install Windows 10 with the latest May 2020 update. Uh, I ran into some problems regarding the drivers because apparently Sony has pulled out every single trace of drivers from their website. So I had a really hard time um, finding the drivers for various things. Um, I was not able to find the GMA 500 driver so I had to uh, download it from the Intel's official website which you can see I'm installing right now um, so everything is working except for the Alps uh, driver you know that uh, this little thing here um, while it has installed the touch to tap function is not working it's not even available in the settings so other than that everything seems to be working just fine so as you can see uh, the only way to install this Intel GMA 500 driver was to put it in compatibility mode so I made I made sure that I'm running it in Windows 7 compatibility mode because even Windows 8 compatibility mode did not run so it's kind of hard being a Sony Vio user I can see that so I'm going to restart and then I'll see if uh, if uh, those uh, um, if the sleep function is now available so you can see now the sleep function is now available because the GMA 500 driver is now installed even though it is running in compatibility mode I think it should deliver almost the same performance as Windows 7 so I'm going to restart now you will also see how much time it takes to reboot now with every single driver installed so my SSD is slow but it is a tiny bit faster than the hard disk which was actually failing on me so I had no choice and the cheapest one I could find online was the 16 GB one so I bought it took it took some time to reach my place um, but uh, it actually worked it's not a lot of stuff uh, for storage but it works and we just then did install on it with 8 GB it, it, it took up around 8 GB and we are now off the boot screen let's see it's here in front of you guys so it's taking its time not the fastest thing you would have ever seen but hey it's a 11 year old machine and we are still able to run Windows 10 and most probably we will be able to run a future version of Windows as well just make sure you keep backup of your drivers because it is getting harder and harder to find if you want a Sony machine keep those drivers in a safe place there you go it's loading the animations are much more smoother now I can see because the GMA 500 driver is finally installed and hopefully we are having some graphic installation now looking very damn good it was this circle animation was super jerky early on and it took a lot of time this Windows 10 took a lot of time to install 
and we are still booting it's taking its time not at all in a rush and I have not installed anything I haven't, and the only thing I have disabled so far in the services is the Windows search because it is uh, not useful at all if you are having a SSD so even on my desktop I have that service disabled and I also wanted to disable the updates but I, the Windows 10 does not let me do that uh, at least the May 2020 uh, I'm pretty sure I have disabled them on my ne other netbook the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S uh, which has a Z 3735F quad core Atom processor it's much faster than this and I have totally disabled updates on it because it has 32 GB MMC flash storage and I don't think it would be wise to install Windows updates maybe you do fresh install it but I'm too lazy I mean I've been running that laptop on that same build from the past four years and I'm not going to update on the newer build it's just not worth it though I'm running the latest version of Office on it without any issues so oh, I think it is taking its time the Sony YOP is taking its time because it's the first time we have installed the GMA 500 drivers maybe that is why it is taking so much time normally it does not take that much time okay YOP let me put in my super secure password three letter password yeah welcome so that was quick so how are the animations this is the Sony VIOP running the latest version of uh, Windows still loading its stuff you gotta give it its time uh, the taskbar has not loaded yet you can see that you can see that I am tapping on it it's it's not working apparently I have to look into that issue um, probably I'll be rolling back to Windows 7 if I want the machine that I can actually use cause this is a slow super slow as a fun machine as a show off machine if you want to tell your friend hey you look at this little laptop it runs the latest version of Windows yeah then yes you can boot it up and show it off but if you want to get some work done if you don't want to get into some drivers issue man I would suggest you to just run Windows 7 and then just install this fancy Windows 10 wallpaper on it now what hey it's opening all the windows now okay it's not working <laughs> this laptop can drive anyone crazy so. let me remove my usb drive real quick the animations are smoother definitely but I don't think so the Windows 10 drivers are helping much so this is my computer out of 16 GB 14.5 GB was usable and 3.7.32 GB is now free after installation of all the drivers and just to confirm that I am actually running a legit copy of Windows 10 I'm running Windows 10 professional to be uh, exact and here's the funny part the Windows 10 never asked me for any serial number I think the Windows 10 is free on these little computers now that's what I think so, YOP Atom Z7 Z520 2GB RAM. Awesome. It's running the latest version of Windows 10. 
Windows specifications Windows 10 Pro installed 25th June yesterday so yes this is the latest build as well and boy is acti activated I did not input any service uh, serial number on this and it just it's all on its own awesome and if, without buying any alleged copy of Windows 10 I actually have a legit copy finally so there you have it when yop running the windows 10 may 2020 update and it is slow as f oh fuck, man do yourself a favor don't install windows 10 on your yop it's slow and maybe you want it for show off purposes then it's fine but if you are using it for anything useful just don't use it install windows 7 on it you will be much better off don't even install windows 8 you will run into same problems i was running windows 8 earlier on this not good performance so hope you liked my really long video oh, give give this video a like and share with your friends especially your yop friends so I uh, hope you like this video and stay subscribed for more technology news like this. Bye bye.